Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I know it's been a while, but I have missed all of you and I'm so glad to be back. I wanted to kind of go over some of my absolute favorite products with you guys today. So I thought I would share that with you guys and kind of show you all the things that I really like and hopefully you guys can pick up a thing or two if you think that maybe it'll work for you. Everything that I talk about today, I will link below as well as put the pricing up top somewhere over here or over here. You can always like Google it and find it other places if you tend to find it somewhere else that's like cheaper or something. But I will just put random places down below that I find that are like easy to get to. So yeah, today I'm gonna be going over things in the beauty department such as like makeup, um, hair care, body and facial products, and then just like random things that I like around my house. My favorite hair straightener at the moment is by Hot Tools. I believe the plates are one inch thick. So. And then it's quite long. I really like this one because whenever you put it, you can put it in bigger chunks of hair and it just smooths it out really nicely. I've had this one for about two years now and I haven't ran into any problems with it and it heats up to 400 degrees. So. If you have really stubborn hair, I feel like this would be a really good tool for you to pick up. I also really like this right here. This is Batiste Dry Shampoo in the shade Divine Dark. Basically, it's just a dry shampoo that has a tint to it, so it's really good for brunettes. Usually when I use like a dry shampoo, I'll spray it and it'll have this weird white cast on the top of my hair. And no matter how much I rub it in, it won't fade. So I tried this one out and it's freaking awesome. Like you spray it in your hair and it... It kind of just fills your hair in a little bit and it also makes it um, not so greasy. So that's really great. This is what the bottle looks like and it says Divine Dark right here. Comes with like a little silver cap. It's in an aerosol can so you just push the top and then it'll spritz. One of my favorite things to use whenever I'm in the shower and I really need to deep condition my hair because it's starting to feel a little bit rough. This is a Marula oil based um, hair mask. and. I, really, I don't use this every day, but if I really need that extra moisture in my hair to kind of make it feel really silky and smooth, this is what the jar looks like. It's a Marula Oil Rare Intensive Mask, and this one comes in 200 milliliters, so you get quite a bit of product. Whenever I use this one, I'll take maybe like a quarter size amount, about that much, and I'll only run it through the very ends of my hair and I'll let it sit for as long as I like shave my legs, exfoliate, all that good stuff and then I just rinse it out. This one, when I do use this though, I don't really like to put many products in my hair afterwards just because it does, it is a bit heavy. So if you add more products to your hair, it does tend to leave it feeling kind of like a little greasy at the ends just because then you're putting too much in. But if you just use this and then maybe like some um, heat protected spray after, after when you're about to blow dry your hair, it's awesome and it makes your hair super smooth. I hate when I post things for sale and I set a certain price point and then people lowball me. Like, I'm trying to sell my computer for like $600. People are like, can I have it for $250? Like, no, no, you can't have it for $250. Rude. The next two products that I really enjoy are gonna be these two right here. This one is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. And then this one is the Kenra Platinum Silkening Gloss. These two have been some of my favorite products for a couple years now, probably since high school and I'm a senior in college at the moment. So yeah, a pretty good amount of time. I don't use them together, but what I, if I, it kind of depends on my mood. You know what I mean? Like one day I want to use this, one day I want to use this. It just depends. The Kenra Silkening Gloss literally smells like candy. Mm. And I literally take about like two pumps in the palm of my hand and run it through the very ends of my hair. I never really tend to put product in the roots of my head just because I'm an oily gal and that's a no-go. Whenever I use the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin, that's a mouthful, um, I like to spray this not only on the ends of my hair, but like kind of in the middle, in the middle shaft area, whatever. And then I'll bring it down and then I brush it out afterwards. It has a bunch of things in it. So like maintenance of keratin, straightening treatment, increases styling, perfect for all hair types, replaces lost protein, protects natural keratin, protects against heat, restores hydration, detangles, defrizzes, and adds shine, blah, 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 blah. Both of these are really good for your hair as like aftercare products. Once you get out of the shower and you kind of just like throw it in the ends of your hair, it'll help to make it look healthy and shiny. So who doesn't want that? So that's it for hair care products, but now we can go ahead and move on to like the body and facial products. Oh, I love this. This is actually one of my favorite things ever and I'm literally like 
out of it. This is called Rose Argan Body Conditioner and this is by Lush. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very simple. Your typical Lush packaging comes in like those little twist off containers. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so bad about putting on lotion after a shower because when I get out of the shower, all I want to do is just like lay in my towel on my bed. Just like nude and free, you know? Like I don't want to put clothes on, I don't want to put lotion on, I don't want to do anything. Like I can't be bothered with that yet just yet so when I am in the shower all you have to do is like after you exfoliate and use your body wash and shave and whatnot you rub this all over your body and then you just wash it off so it's literally lotion for while you're inside of the shower this stuff feels like there's a layer over the top of your skin that's just smooth and silky and it smells really nice throughout the day this one's really good if you like you know rosy smelling stuff one of my newfound favorites is called the Face Halo. It says it on this little tag right here. I found this because Chloe Morello, another one of my favorite YouTubers, she's actually like the brand ambassador for this, I believe. And I saw her using it in one of her tutorials and I was like, ooh, I gotta try that. This is literally just little microfiber cloth. That's it. It's like a little microfiber cloth. And because there's so many of like the little microfiber pieces in there, it takes all of your makeup off as without having to use any kind of product on it. You feel me? You just get this thing wet and then you just massage it around your face and it takes all of your makeup off. Like your waterproof mascara, your eyeliner, your eyeshadow, glitter eyeshadow takes it all off. And they come in like a bulk of three. So you can put one like in your shower, one next to your sink, and then one for like whenever the other ones get dirty or something. I feel like I'm talking really fast in this video. I'm sorry, I just had coffee. I gotta tone it down. Sorry, I'll try. Okay. As far as moisturizers go, I have really greasy skin in my T zone, and I'm also um, prone to breakouts. So I'm kind of picky about what I'll put on my face. I found this little guy right here. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel, and it's really awesome. It has a little bit of hyaluronic acid in there, and it smells really good. It smells kind of like fresh, like fresh water. It comes in like this simple little blue tube with the white writing on it and a white lid. Yeah, I really like the packaging. Because this is like a water-based moisturizer, it's not gonna be super oily on your skin, and it's gonna absorb as soon as you put it on. So. If you just need like light moisturization just to like get you going in the day, this stuff's really awesome. One of my absolute favorite perfumes at the moment is called Mon Paris and it's by YSL or Yves Saint Laurent. It has kind of like this florally undertone but it also has a little bit of that spicy kick to it. So it's beautiful for during the day and at night. Maybe just like one or two squirts will last you through the whole day because it it does linger, but it's not too strong. The packaging is really cute. It comes with a little bow and the little gold piece right there says YSL on it. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, and it's glass. So it's super pretty and chic looking. A nail polish that I just recently found out about is the OPI Bubble Bath. It's a very light baby pink color and it's just so beautiful. Because it's such a very faint pink, it almost looks white with like a pink undertone to it. Um, it does look like when you have acrylic nails and you paint it on, it kind of looks like you have the ombre nails without even really trying. And then this is what the bottle looks like. This is, I think, supposed to be part of like the gel um, line, but you can definitely buy it in just like the normal, regular, everyday nail polish. But yeah, this is just the one that I have. And of course, I gotta throw in a candle. This is Mahogany Teakwood by White Barn, which is sold inside of Bath & Body Works. I don't know about you guys, but every time I walk into Abercrombie, the smell just like, oh, it just smells so good. Like it smells like manly, you know what I mean? Like that cologne they use is bomb. So this candle smells exactly like that cologne. When I smelt it, I was like, okay, okay, you got me sold. It comes with the three wick, which is really nice because the scent kind of travels throughout your entire house rather than just like one wick candles that kind of just like sit in their own little bubble. So if you want your entire house to smell like Abercrombie, you gotta get yourself one of these. The last thing that I have for the like body category is gonna be this tanning lotion right here. This is called Black Rose. This is hands down one of my absolute favorite uh, smelling lotions that I've ever tried. I know you can get this on Amazon and stuff, just be careful because you never know if it's the real product that people put in there. So just kind of like do a little research, look at the reviews and whatnot. Mmm, it just smells like a rose, but like a sweet rose, you know? I also really like this lotion because it has a silicone base. So whenever I put it on my skin, it kind of just like 
feels super velvety on top and it, it sinks in without leaving like an oil cast on the top of my skin. I hate when I go tanning and then I like get out of the tan bed or if I'm done tanning at the beach or something and then my skin kind of smells like a burnt chicken nugget. <laughs> this doesn't smell like that. It smells the same after I'm done tanning and it just feels really good on my skin. It's also a bronzer so it'll give you like that instant and delayed color so you'll feel nice and glowy afterwards. Here's a close-up of the bottle. It's super, super pretty, and it lasts a while because you get a decent amount of product in there. And finally, the part that I'm sure all of you pretty much came here for, the makeup and beauty products. I will start with that now. I am always down to like try new foundations and whatnot, but I always find myself coming back to this specific foundation. This is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I really like this one because it's not your typical foundation. It has a lot of pigment in it, so it's going to cover pretty much everything. Whenever I have my worst breakouts, this is what I'll go to because I know it's going to cover it no matter what. It's very, very thin, so a little goes a long way and you, you really don't feel like you're wearing anything on your face. So I want to show you guys how much of this covers, so I'm just going to kind of put a little bit on my tattoo so you can see. Like, I'm just kind of rubbing it in with my finger. But like, do you see that? It covers everything. That's insane to me. If you have really bad, um, like acne scars or breakouts or something, and you just want to be able to cover it, this stuff is amazing. It is pricey, but it lasts so long that it's worth the value. They sell it at like Sephora and stuff, so you can always just go in and they can help color match you and whatnot. My absolute favorite, ride or die, probably never gonna use anything else. I probably will, but I'll always come back to this actually, is the NYX Wonder Stick. I am obsessed with this stuff. I don't use the like concealer and whatever, that stuff sucks. I don't, I hate that end. But, the other end is where the magic happens. This little guy is a contouring stick and it is a bit on the warm side because I do have it in the shade deep. Personally, when I contour my face, I do like to have warmer shades. I feel like I have a very olive undertone in my skin and when I use warm shades, it just kind of blends and looks a little more nice in my, in my skin range, you know? Basically what I do is I'll just line it on my jaw, on my forehead, under my nose, under my lip, and then like my jawline and then I'll just buff it in with a brush and it's it's so creamy that it buffs in nicely without removing a lot of the color. Whatever makes doing your makeup easier and quicker, like I, I'm down for that. I apologize for how dirty this is, but it's well loved. But yeah, this is the packaging. It's just like a little roller stick. Super convenient to throw in your purse and whatnot. <laughs> Recently, I've found a lovely little brush by It Cosmetics, and it's this guy right here. It's just like a regular crease blending brush, but for some reason, this one is just like so soft, and it blends my eyeshadow so perfectly. Like, I have a couple different um, blending crease brushes, but this one takes the gold. It's called the It Brushes for Ulta Airbrush Blending Crease Number 105. If you're having a hard time like blending out your makeup, if it's not really like going how you want it, try picking up this brush and trying it out because I feel like this has made a world of difference whenever I do my makeup. And the handle's really nice, it's like lightweight, but like super easy to just, you know what I'm saying? Like I probably didn't describe that well, but I'm sure you guys understand where I'm coming from. I'm gonna share my little secret with you guys all today. For the last probably, I would say at least six years or so, I have been using the Sephora brand liquid eyeliner. It's my favorite because one, it's waterproof. When you cry, when you laugh, whatever, it's not gonna start running down your face. Um, and two, I really like the tip of it because it is a brush tip rather than like a felt tip. It's super bendable and easy to like flick it out. This is what the bottle looks like. It just says Sephora on it and it has like the little label. And here of course is the brush tip. It's very skinny and you know, just brush tips. And then it looks like that whenever you swatch it and it dries down to a matte finish, which is my favorite. Last but certainly not least, what would one of my videos be if I didn't mention eyelashes? So forever and ever, these eyelashes will hold a special place near and dear to my heart. And these are the Coco Lashes in the Style Goddess. These lashes go with absolutely every makeup look that I could do. I'm pretty sure all of their eyelashes come in this little box, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But yeah, all the ones I've bought so far come in a little package like this. 
And then on the back, it says the name of the lashes and like a little description. These are what the eyelashes look like on the eye. Sorry guys, my camera died when I was doing that last video clip. So here I am on my iPhone. But yeah, so these are the eyelashes. They're really cute. They're kind of, they come in like these little clumps if you notice like here, 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 little clusters. Um, they're super cute though and they go with like every eyeshadow look. I think they're kind of sultry looking, right? That's basically it for my video today. I just wanted to show you guys some of my favorite products. I hope that you guys try some of these things out and like them as much as I do. So yeah, thank you for sticking with me, you guys. If you're a subscriber and you've been watching all of my videos throughout the time that I've uploaded so far, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. So yeah, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Bye.